WBLT, proud to be your official station of the Vols. We are just a little more than 24 hours from kickoff between the Vols and Gators inside Neyland Stadium. Today, is the field going to be ready? That's a question a lot of people have. A uh, UT crew putting the finishing touches on brand new grass installed. Some guy named Morgan Wallen had a whole bunch of friends over there, and they <laughs> broke concert <laughs> records at Neyland. Will Puckett's joining us. you got to look inside Neyland today. Finishing touches look okay. Yeah, you can't even tell two concerts were played inside Neyland about three weeks ago. This is a look from the WVLT news drone this morning as crews were painting the end zones ahead of tomorrow's big game. The Sunday night, Wallen finished his two show set. Turf crews got to work inside the home of the Vols. After the floor was taken up, crews cleared out the old turf, brought in brand new turf from a company out of North Carolina. The quick work beat out rains from Hurricane Helene. And now today on the eve of the Vols, Florida, she'll Watkins Field ready for gameplay. No concerns at all. Um, Dr. John Sorokin on campus with the UT Agriculture School is one of the leading turf management consultants in the country. Uh, the field's been tested twice. It's uh, it's A plus ready to go in game shape. So it should be a, a fast track tomorrow night for the Gators and Vols. Hopefully a fast track tomorrow night only for the Vols, right? Saying rain from Hurricane Helene actually helped everything take grass, sod, whole nine yards. There are no worries as we get underway tomorrow night. Now, Carolina Green is the company assisting UT with the turf. Baum giving that relationship a ton of credit for the condition Shields Watkins Field is in today. And will timing is critical in this process. Yeah, I mentioned Hurricane Helene and also that Carolina Green is out of North Carolina. Baum saying that getting it so quickly was key and making sure that there weren't any hiccups with Interstate 40 being demolished in parts of North Carolina and also all the impacts you see just north of Charlotte there too, guys. Nice. Well, thanks a lot. All right.